write down the coordinates of m so m is the point where the asymptotes of f meet and we can clearly see that f of x is equal to 4 divided by x minus 3 plus 4. We know that we have one asymptote at x minus 3 is equal to 0, where x is clearly equal to 3. So that is one asymptote. And the other asymptote is at y is equal to 4. So the coordinates of m where the asymptotes meet is 3 and 4 for the x and y value respectively so that's what we are supposed to write down as the coordinates of m let's calculate the coordinates of d let's go through the quick statement if you like this video you will definitely love my course go ahead and click the link on my bio and you will land on this page you will not only find the past exam questions but introduction videos where i break down complex concepts into small pieces that are easy to digest it is very important in grade 12 to stay ahead of your teacher and this is what this course is for it's very easy to navigate through the course as videos are arranged into collections you can clearly see that we have electrostatics work energy and power Doppler effect so on and so on do you maybe need help with study tips and creating your own timetable we can talk about that inside the course and i can help you out it doesn't even take a minute to join can't wait to hear from you. M is the point where the asymptotes of F intersect. C and D are the X and Y intercepts of F respectively. So D is the Y intercept of F. And we know fully well that Y intercept, well not X, what am I saying? Y intercept, X is equal to 0. So we have f of 0 being equal to 4 divided by 0 minus 3 plus 4 so this is this is 4 divided by minus 3 plus 4 okay let me put that in my calculator this is equal to 8 over 3 so the coordinates of d x is 0 and y is 8 over 3. So there we go. Let's do 4.3. So 4.3. If y is equal to x plus t is the equation of a line of symmetry of f, calculate the value of t. So we have y is equal to x plus t. So in order to find that value of t, we need to substitute m of coordinates 3 and 4. When we want to find the equation of the line of symmetry, you substitute where the asymptotes meet all the time. So we would have 4 is equal to 3 plus t. 1 is equal to t. That is easy to see. So that is 4.3. Let's do 4.4. So 4.4 determine the values of x for which f of x is less or equals to 0. So obviously we can, okay, it says determine, not write it down. So we can calculate, right? But just looking at the function also, we shall be able to determine those values. Let's see. So when you look at this function, uh, we want where x, f of x is equals to 0 or negative. We can see that is this part that we're interested in this is the part that we're interested in yeah that is why f of x is less or equals to zero because everywhere else it is greater than we are only interested on the part that i've highlighted in red so that part starts at c which is the x intercept all right so let's start by finding the x intercept y is equals to zero so we're going to have 0 being equal to what is f of x? 4 over x minus 3 plus 4. So minus 4 is equal to 4 divided by x minus 3. So minus 4x 
plus 12 is equals to 4. Minus 4x is equals to minus 8. x is equals to 2. So from x is equals to 2 up until the asymptote. Because we know that it does not touch the asymptote. And after the asymptote is positive. Right? Uh, so what's the x value of the asymptote? The x value of the uh, asymptote is 3. The x coordinate of m. So x needs to be greater or equals to 2 but less than 3 right it needs to be less than 3 and not equals to 3 because at equals to 3 we have undefined as it is the asymptote so there we go 4.4 4. 4. 4.5 determine the coordinates of a so what is a uh let's see so okay the question statement a is the point on f that is closest to m okay um a and m there's something going on there a is the point that is closest to m okay and we want the coordinates of m so let's see uh the coordinates of a m has coordinates 34 and a as coordinates x and in place of y we have 4 over x minus 3 plus 4 so ma is equals to well the square root of 3 minus x squared plus 4 um so take a look at this we're gonna have four minus four over x plus three plus four right this is inside brackets so four minus four is gonna give us zero so we just uh, we just have minus oh, let me erase here we just have minus four x plus three squared Okay, so a bit confusing here. Where do we go from here? Okay, let's take A as the second point. We would have MA being equals to X minus 3, right? Plus um, 4 over x plus 3 plus 4 uh, minus 4 right i kind of like this m a squared is equals to x minus 3 squared yeah and then plus 4 minus 4 that just falls apart and then we have plus 4 over x plus 3 so we have x plus 3 and then so 4 over x x minus 3 what am i seeing we have x minus 3 not x plus 3 x minus 3 okay i kind of like this we're making progress now let's let x minus 3 be equals to k so this will be ma squared is equals to uh well let's just let x minus 3 squared be equals to k so ma squared would be equals to k or k plus 16 right over k okay um if we derivate this with respect to k uh we'll get so when we derivate k we just get one right and then so we have one plus 16k over k is just 16k minus 1 so 1 minus 1 minus 16k to the minus 2 uh, this is just 1 minus 16 over k squared and then we can equate this to 0 uh, when we do that we're gonna get 1 being equals to 16k squared 
So k squared is equals to 16. Um, okay, so what is k? k is x minus 2 squared. So x minus 2 squared. Um, oh, before we can, we can change that. Let's just let k is equals to 4 or k is equals to minus 4. Obviously, you cannot square something and get a minus 4. So k is equals to 4. So we have x minus 3 squared being equals to 4. If we take square roots on both sides, we get x minus 3 is equals to 2. x is equals to... Okay, so we take 3 to the other side. We get x is equals to 5. Right. Um, so if x is equals to 5, what is the value of y? y is equals to so we have 4 over 5 minus 3 plus 4 which is equals to 6 so the coordinates of a is 5 and 6 uh, we don't have to actually calculate the distance itself right so we can leave that there and then 4.6 a single transformation is applied to f cubed in a new graph defined as h of x minus 4 over x plus 3 plus 4 a prime is the image of a under this transformation calculate the length of a a prime right so calculating the length is quite easy obviously uh, what you need is to find the coordinates of a prime so tell me, when you determine the coordinates of A prime, what do you get? Let me know in the comments.